That is the First uh, Amendment right. You are violating right. the uh, rules of the court. See, Branson, you are what First Amendment right did I violate? Oh. No, I'm not. He's the I'm cop. Not deal you tell me. I'm not. What What First Amendment right I'm did not. I violate? I'm not. You're either going to respect this class question. or you're going to be asked to walk out. Am I under duress of arrest? You're going to go to jail if you I'm going to be arrested. Let's Fine. Go. Okay. Here. What's up, everybody? That clip you just saw was a clip from the city council meeting in Aransas Pass, Texas, where Jason Falwell and CJ Grisham attended and things went crazy. They exposed so much corruption. It went crazy viral. If you haven't seen it, I'll put a tab up at the top. You can watch that and then come back to this video. But anyways, everybody's been asking for updates. What's going on? Updates this, updates that, and the truth of the matter is, is that meeting just happened a couple of weeks ago. So that is the present day status. C.J. Grisham said he's going to send letters of intent to sue with lawsuits following. C.J. is a man of his word, so that is the update. Now, since that happened, I have been going backwards into the story. And that's where this video is going. I am going to go all the way back to the beginning and try to piece together everything that happened that brought us to this point right now. Now, I will say that this video is just about the stuff that the city of Aransas Pass has done to Jason Followell. If you want to see all the corruption that Jason Followell has uncovered since they started harassing him, you need to get to his channel and just start watching all of his videos, man. They're powerful videos. This video is going to cover thoroughly the bogus raids that the police made on his gym and the code enforcement inspections where they wrote him bogus tickets and some of his city council meetings where he speaks at the city council meetings about these issues. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into the video. See y'all later. Jason Paul, 350 South Houston, Texas Trunk Fitness owner. I'm here today because my Fourth Amendment rights were violated by the fire department back in March, in which I sent every single one of y'all emails on it, and none of y'all bothered to email me back. Very patriotic, by the way. So my Fourth Amendment rights were violated by the fire department. They came into my building back in March. In March, my building is locked, meaning you can't come in there. It's a private facility. You have to be a member to come inside my building. You have to have a key fob. The fire department waited for one of my members to open the door, went in behind them, and did an illegal search of my building. <clears throat> During the illegal search, they wrote up a fictitious uh, citation to an abandoned 17-year-old abandoned outlet with no power. The year before, John Gomez inspected this, said it was okay and there's no issue. This year is an issue. The, the citation they wrote, they don't understand how to read and write code. They're very incompetent on it, and that's what I do for a living. been doing it for 20 years. So I corrected them on it and showed them what they did wrong. Instead of apologizing to me, they wrote another citation and another citation and another citation in the same outlet, a total of nine. The last and final one they actually wrote the citation on is 4.222, which deals with ceiling fans and has nothing to do with uh, outlets. They're very incompetent. With that said, the captain that I talked to told me he goes on everybody's property whenever he wants, that he can do that. There's no Fourth Amendment violation, right? Laughing out loud here. I'm, I'm laughing. I'm, I'm very upset. With that said, I sent it to the man behind me, the fire chief back here. He told me he's an honorable man and that he took an oath to the Constitution, and he would investigate it. He got back to me within two hours, sent me codes. Codes do not trump constitutional rights. He sent me codes saying that he can come on the property whenever he wants. Now, he too cherry picks codes and doesn't understand how to read or write them. The entire outlet of that set specifically says you have to have the owner's permission, which is myself. You have to have an administrative warrant, which he did not, or there has to be an immense danger, meaning there's a fire that can go into my building. He had none of them. But since he showed me his incompetence, I wrote him back again, showed him his errors, and sent him the Supreme Court cases saying that my building is protected under the Fourth Amendment right. He had the audacity to write me back and attack me personally, tell me his people can come on my property whenever they want to, and there's basically nothing I can do about it. So I sent it to this man right here. This man right here, the city manager right here, when I finally got a hold of him, he blatantly told me to do whatever the fire department tells me to do and that he can come on my property whenever he wants. That's a direct violation of the Fourth Amendment, and I do not appreciate it. If I am not on the agenda in two weeks, you will have a federal case for Fourth Amendment right violations and a civil suit, and I will bring the news station down here to talk to every single one of y'all. That's complete BS. 
If y'all don't appreciate the Constitution, y'all should not be here. That's all I got. Are you really? <laughs> I asked Kelly for her key card. Break the doors, I mean. You, you? Oh, yeah. Come on in. Oh, Jason, we're here today. Come on. What's up, man? How are y'all? Hey, Jason. Corey, how are you? Good, Good morning, sir. Okay, Tito. Tito. Yeah. Okay, how can I help you out today? All right, man. My dad box, brother. Can you show me what we're talking about here? That's right. All right. We're all done. Same as all these. There's nothing in these boxes. You guys have any more issues? Nothing. Going to that dumpster? See that no. Over here. That's it. Nothing goes to you. This is 30, 40 years old, probably. Okay. Where's the box? There's never been any right here. here. Here's the issue, Jason. There's a the box. Right there. There's an electrical wire here. Okay, so what I'm going to do, to prove my point, is I'm going to go buy some junction boxes and throw them on the floor. And if y'all write me citations, we're going to go to court. Okay. But, and what are you going to do? Tell me again. Nothing. There's nothing there. There's no hazard, and it's not permanent wire. There's no code against that. Not a single one. Okay. Let me just show you what we're doing. I know what you're going by. I've read them. I want to call my attorney. Don't keep bothering me. Because okay. this has nothing in it. Okay. There's nothing in there. No hazard, no power source. Okay. There's so, wires. Alright. Well, on the fire code and the electric code, it has to be covered. No, it doesn't. It's the same I already different. called my lawyer. No, it does not. Okay. It's the same as an extension cord. If I have an extension cord on the ground, say, you're an electrician. What's the, what's the hazard? Okay, the hazard is... You got a J box with wires in it. So what does that have to do? Wait a minute. So in this set of wires, I don't think you're gonna come to it that goes away with wires. I just grab them, there's no I, power. We're talking the code. I'm talking about I, I told you the code. Y'all sent me the code and, and I'm about to your code. And, and the, it's and specific to what? Permanent wiring. No, it's not. Yes it is. Well that's, well, that's wiring and it's, it's like not permanent. Guys, this one's here about the illegal warrant they utilized to get into my business, Texas Strong Fitness, Aransas Pass, Texas. Basically, they uh, used code enforcement, forced him to do something that he didn't want to do, uh, forced him to write violations onto a warrant that he was not certified to do. Watch, listen, learn, make sure y'all get to the end of this, pay attention, and please subscribe to help this get out. I need more eyes on this and more help. It is hard fighting an entire city over their corruption by myself. I don't appreciate you threatening to kick my door in, by the way. I'm not threatening to kick you, the door Yes, sir, you did. You did. You I said, said I need you to come down soon. Or you would kick my door in. We would have to force your door open. That's yes, not the way you worded it. Yes, it is. No, it's not, brother. I take good notes on all y'all because y'all are all fucking up big time. Okay. And the city's about to get sued by a 1983 lawsuit for your harassment and Fourth Amendment right violations by that piece of shit right there. Mm -hmm. For what? What are you coming in for? The next page right there talks about what your circumstances are. <clears throat> the level of threshold required to get an administrative work is very low compared to a typical search warrant. Is this typically what y'all do for an outlet that's out? And you got uh, multiple reports on wrong codes? No, there's other violations that are. No, they're saying they can see this from the roadway behind this wall, and that's the violation. Correct. Right. Not that that, is, that is something that they saw one of the first times they came out, and when we talked to Borrego, Borrego said that he was going to try to explain that to you, but you got upset because of that outlet thing and basically told him they had to leave, so he had to leave because he didn't have a warrant. That was in March. I call bullshit on that big time. That's you told me it was safe on the road. No, no, no. I wish I would quit fucking lying to me. I'm not lying. I got the recorded phone call that I can provide you later on. Good, I'll take it. But you No, know, every gym has one of those exit signs right by the door. It's, there. it's, it's necessary to be there. My, my understanding what the issue is, is when a person comes into the building, if there's panic and fear and they're mm -hmm. trying to escape, the door's right there. They need to be able to run. 
the door. Front door's right there. Yeah. On the other side of this wall. And it's an escape door. You got one in the front, one in the back. Like yeah, I told you. It was no, your... sir, this does not have to. It's not I, the way to go. Well, I don't know. What I'm telling you is they can't have, they don't, they can't have a step. Yes, they sure can. Do. 100%. Okay, well. The step can't be for the emergency doors. Which that one's over there and that one's back there. No one around here is the same emergency and doors. There's no internal locks on the emergency doors. That's correct. And they know that because I told them plenty of times. And that is pretty good. we're back here in, harassing me. In here, what you're talking about is when you got your CFO, you need to have a knock box. On the building. Not doing that either. This is my fourth amendment right. Okay. They can make me put a map box up there, but they can't touch that key. So what's the point? Oh, and I'm going to get this down auto involved too, because they're going to do a lawsuit. They already said they'll do a lawsuit on you guys for that. Good. Bring it. This whole town's fed up with y'all's bullshit. I'm not trying to create bullshit, man. I'm just trying to get them to get through with their job so we can move on. Well, they work for you, so the fourth amendment right violations, that fucker should have been fired a long time ago. Well, I, I don't have that authority to fire him. They didn't work for you? I supervise him. That's it. Management. I don't know his business. He needs to know his business. Not exactly. I mean, that's the issue. He doesn't know his business. He reports to issue. somebody. He reports to me as a managerial type. So he reports to the city council? No. City manager is in charge of all He's of a piece of shit, too. That's my problem. He's the one that said he can come to my property whenever he wants to, too. And that guy took an oath. Piece of shit. Okay, so you're coming in here for what? I drove down the alleyway to look for violations. This is Corey doing this? Corey is the one that got the administration. Interesting. Yes. That's harassment because they don't ever do that. Good, Corey, you're on my shit list too now. I mean, I mean this is all harassment if you think I about it. It's harassment 100%. Dude, my lawyer already told me they're fucked. All they got to do is pull the trigger. And it's funny when you, you call them. I thought it was a fucking apology. And instead, y'all harassed me. Ridiculous. It is pretty bad. It, it doesn't look good, especially after going to the city council and then a I week later he gets... He gets raided like this. It doesn't look good. Complete bullshit. You want to come into my gym because there's an issue outside? They can come into your gym under the, the information that the, the city attorney read off the code. If there's I got your two codes right here, buddy. Let me, let me explain. I, mean, I, I know you're upset. Let me explain before you reply. If there's an issue at the business next door, for example, we can use your violations here to get a warrant to go into their business, according to the law. That is the Bullshit. Law. It was, it was <laughs> That's an unlawful law. search and seizure, my friend. You cannot go on their it's property for anything wrong with my property. Can I explain? This go ahead, not, try. This is not your typical <laughs> police-type search warrant and affidavit. This is an administrative search warrant. Which still falls under Fourth Amendment rights. I get that. It has a lower threshold, though. Doesn't matter. It's still still cannot violate court. my Fourth Amendment rights. I understand that. You're trying to come into my building for something outside my building. That is, that is another of, Fourth Amendment right that violation. That is part of... No, you're talking about a code box that belongs outside. Okay. And you're talking about a piece of trash that belongs outside. Okay. If they come in here, it's against my Fourth Amendment rights again, and you're their supervisor. So you make that call. Can I explain to you that... Having a prior violation that was observed. What violation? It got thrown out. Go again. Yes, it, it got thrown out because it was filed under the wrong code. Completely wrong. They should have fixed it. On what code? There's no code. Can I explain? No, because I'm pissed off and you're about to violate my fourth amendment rights and you're going to let them do it. I don't want to get you pissed off any longer than we have to, but you got to let us finish doing what? Finish what? Do. Coming on my property without my permission for no warrant? That's not a warrant to come on my property. That That's a warrant to go out there and a warrant for outside my box. Nothing to do with inside my building. Like I was explaining to you, when you have a previous violation that's noted, all they have to state is there was a previous No, that goes against my Fourth Amendment rights. And it allows them access. No, it does not. The uh, Fourth Amendment right, unlawful search. Okay. The city attorney cited that code last night in close session to council. What code? In close session to council? Yes, sir. Funny, because the council members called me and said that didn't happen. Go again. What are you talking about? You're talking about the city council? Last night. There was a meeting last night. Oh, well, then the city yeah. council lying to me. Why? Thanks for letting me know. They Why? said that my building was not discussed at all in last night's city council meeting. Not an open session. It was a closed session. At all. I, I don't know what you talked to or who you talked to, but I can tell you that they're not allowed to discuss closed session items. So they can deny talking about items on closed session. But it was listed on the agenda. Okay, so again, this is outside and outside. So how are they getting Correct. in the building? What I was telling you is the city attorney read the code, which requires the elements in order to get a search warrant. Those elements, one of them is knowledge of a previous violation. Even if the violation was not whether the violation set to was code or not. or not, 
If there is knowledge that there has been a previous violation, there was not a previous violation. It's thrown out. Not one. Okay. So you throw out the Fourth Amendment, right? No, no, no. The violation was thrown out because the prosecutor did not like the code was filed under. It should have been filed under a different code. Yeah, incompetence. So they have to cite me for that code in order for me to have one. I don't have a citation yet. So that's uh, legal for them to come off your property if so they if have you're incompetence. you're basing it off a citation that's not valid. Yeah. I'm not basing it on a citation at all. I'm basing it off that's a what violation. That's what you said. A violation that was cited and thrown out. That was not code. Because it was wrong. That's correct. Right. Absolutely correct. Even though the violation okay. was wrong, you're still you're no, 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 able no, no. to come on the property. The violation was filed under the electrical code. She would rather it have been filed under the fire code but it was, or vice versa. So wrong. it was wrong code. Wrong. Okay. They tried the fire code bullshit with let, me too. Let me, that to out too. let me explain to you what case law says. Because case law tells us how to operate. Even if there is a violation, let's say there's a violation right now. I understand because it's the same your building. D, your D, no, let's say that I pull you over, your DWI, and I charge you with PI. But really, your DWI, let's say the PI doesn't even apply because you're in your car. It's not a public place. But I charge you with PI. I file that. I bring it to court. The prosecutor can either dismiss the charge or she can modify the charge on information or complaint. Information simply means complaint. This prosecutor chose, instead of modifying the violation to attach it to the right code, she chose to throw the ticket out. Okay, so the so that vi that initial violation is thrown out. So the thrown out initial oh, okay. so the throwing out initial violation yes. means you can come on the property anytime you want because there was an initial violation before, even though there was no violation okay. the vi because it was on the wrong code. The initial violation, she chose to throw it out instead of charging. Throwing it out means no violation. Correct. Are we still um, kind of we still have two years to refile that charge. Two years. Good. Right, when you refile it, come into my building. Is it refiled? You're coming on here for shit outside he's of coming my property. On here? To finish that inspection, that's outside. They can walk around on the open. Well, I mean, this guy has already proved his incompetence no, by, by, by giving the wrong code. Nowhere on here does it say that. It says you got you got a trash violation outside, and what's the other one? There's two. Oh no, this seems shady. No, it's here. Oh, it is. There's you were actually a, made me really mad because you were actually on my side when all this started. You were the only city official to say that the fire department broke my Fourth Amendment right, <clears throat> and instead of helping me, you got with them and raided my building. Shake your head no, and I'll play the audio right now. That's what I thought. See, oh, it is. They're fucking corrupt as fuck, dude. Okay. And they're well, gonna we're going to finish our inspection. You're not, they're not coming in my building, not based on this. Mr. No, Mr. this Mr. is for outside and a key lock outside. We're what do they need to see in my building? Go ahead. To, we have to finish the inspection. Okay. No, the inspection is done. What do you need to see in my building? That's all I need to know. He's going to inspect the building. He already inspected the building five he's times. Inspect the doors. That's he can look at the lock spots outside, and he can go to the trash outside. I you don't, because you're going to let him in there, and that's a Fourth Amendment right violation. Okay. If you, you let him in there, you're a piece of shit like them. Okay, I'm sorry that you have to relate that to that, but... I do. How do you not understand that? You took an oath to the Fourth Amendment. You're right. You took an oath to the Constitution. You're, right. you're going to let them come on my property for something outside of my property? We have then a you're a piece of shit, sir. Okay. We have a valid search warrant. Well, We're going to enforce that search warrant. I'm not going to calm down. They keep violating my Fourth Amendment rights. I'm going to have your fucking job, too. Get him in here. All y'all can get fucking fired, you pieces of shit. Check this shit out, dude. They're coming in my building for two things outside of my building, and they're going to trespass Fourth Amendment yeah, rights right now. Go ahead, you piece of shit. Walk in there. Fourth Amendment right violation. All unlawful search and seizure. Boom. You two party, unlawful search and seizure. You going inside, sir? I recommend you don't if you took an oath in the Fourth yeah. Amendment. Thank you, sir. So you're looking for something outside, and you're looking for a lockbox. That is it. What else are you looking for? Just do what you gotta do. No, sir, I got it right here what he's supposed to do. I understand, but if, if you push too hard and you interfere, oh, I'm not going to For what? I mean, you can't do that? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Okay, so, I'm arresting him for Fourth Amendment right violations. I, look, Mr. Paul, I just want you to understand. Corey, you're on my shit list, dude. You're going to be one of the ones getting terminated now. Come behind my alley and harass me. And I thought you were a good dude. If you were following orders, then you need to say so. If not, I'm going to have your fucking job, too. Hey, Chief, he was explaining to me that this is just like an emergency, not an emergency exit. This has nothing to do with what's on your, what's yes, on your search warrant. He's saying that the other doors allow Corey, egress. did they make you do this? Appropriate. I guess there's one over there and one in the I'm side. asking. I've never been in Yes or no? Okay. Well, just so you know. It's pretty what shady. Does that, what does that have to do with a lockbox and a piece of trash outside? So they can find some codes that matches. That's what they're doing. They're trying to fuck me and harass me. Fifth fucking time in my building. Harassing me over bullshit codes. And that piece of shit don't even know how to read them. Fucking idiots.
Going back there has nothing to do with a piece of trash outside or a lockbox outside. You got your camera on board? Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Please note he's looking at anything and everything besides what he was called out to do. I mean, that's what... Um, that's what they do on a fire inspection. Now, they already did the fire inspection. It's closed. I can show you where they... Well, shit, sir, I'm not going to listen. It was already closed. That was closed when that citation got thrown out. This is what happens when you report somebody. They come in and harass you. Oh, big harass time. your business. This motherfucker's getting fired. Fuck him. This will be the second time he violated my Fourth Amendment right that that guy took an oath to and doesn't give a shit about. Well, they all also, took yeah, Blanchard here took a Fourth Amendment right oath, doesn't give a shit about it. On my property for bullshit. It's now been, what, four months of harassment by these guys. Four fucking months. By the way, they've inspected this place five times and did it yearly. And on their, on their first time they inspected it, there was no issues with any of this bullshit. They passed that. They passed the front door. But now since I'm defending my rights as a constitution for a Fourth Amendment right violation, they think they can just bully me. And it won't fucking happen. You all get fired. Fuck all y'all. <laughs> oh, check this out, guys. It says they can go look at something outside my property, and they can look at a lockbox outside my property. Nothing about coming in my building to look for more fucking hazards that don't fucking exist. I'll, I'll scan in that warrant. <laughs> oh, I'm going to see another fucking taking it to my attorney. This is it. They're done. I'm tired of it. I gave them plenty of times just to fucking apologize for doing the wrong thing, and instead, they harassed. I asked this man to apologize. Instead, he made up codes. Codes have nothing to do with Fourth Amendment rights, guys. He's a fucking idiot. <laughs> fucking crazy, dude. <clears throat> wow, this is fucking wow. <sighs> really is wow. I'm gonna hit up James O'Keefe. I'm calling the attorney today. They fucked up. All I wanted was a fucking apology. Now they get a civil lawsuit and all these motherfuckers get fired. If they don't get fired, the city council gets removed. That's it. I only need 300 signatures to remove the city council. I already fucking looked it up. They can all fucking go. Time this, this fucking. This, this city right here needs a clean up. All these pieces of shit that don't care about the Constitution need to go. Corey, I know you work for him, but you could have did something about that. You could have stood up. You took an oath too, didn't you? It's the problem. Yeah. You got people in power that don't stand God up. Goddamn, everybody took an oath in here. Even me, because I was TCO certified in 2009. What, 2000? 2000, no, 1999 TCO certified. So I know what you went through. Yeah, I took for the Fourth Amendment rights. No, you're not. You let the motherfuckers on my property. And you didn't fire this motherfucker for violating me. Took an oath to protect my country. I'm doing it right now. You guarantee these motherfuckers are all getting fired. And now the city's going to eat a lawsuit. <laughs> I'm fucking real, dude. Any prosecutor can suck my fucking dick, too. Just wow. You know what you told me on the phone? John Gomez pointed out that, that fire thing on the back. So that's the mayor's brother. And he only did that after I punked his ass for that code that he was wrong on. People like don't like being said they're wrong. Yeah, and now they're disturbing my gym, so it braces up the fucking cost of the lawsuit. Good job. Yeah, there, there was a member in there. He seemed pretty distraught. My blood pressure's up. Y'all are fucked. Fuck. So again, this inspection here, what does it have to do to the two things that are outside? Nothing. He's just completing the inspection so he can buy more shit to eat. No, that was finished in March. They've not been able to finish it. Oh, yes, they did. And when that court case got closed out, it's done. It's been closed. Well, even, the, even your city attorney agreed with me on that. The prosecutor? Yes. But she said they wanted to come back here and check that door because it's now a code enforcement call. The, the door, the knock box. The door's not on here. The two things. The door's not on here. Knock box. Okay. Not the knock box. The door's not mentioned in the problem cause affidavit because you're right. He inspected from the outside. He didn't see the, the bug from the inside. That's why he didn't put it in the affidavit. Because he would have to been inside the building to see. Who, who are we talking about? Corey. He's the one who the affidavit. You're the one coming to harass me because of these guys? He's not harassing you, Mr. Bullshit, dude. It's no. harassment, 110%. No. This is the fifth time coming out here for a two year yearly we, inspection. We are trying to finish the initial inspection. Bullshit, it was already done. They did a complete walkthrough that day. Okay. What are you doing out of bullshit? I'm sorry for the harassment. Okay. Okay. 
Thank you. Harassing my members through this crap, and these guys trying to work out. I got guys in here harassing my building over Fourth Amendment rights violations. I'm fucking real. <laughs> What's the trash outside? That's the issue. Corey, Corey, you want to show what was outside the window? <laughs> You can come here. Uh, so no issues with all her shit. What's the grass? It's got grass on here. Oh, well, that's the way you say you're watching right now. It's like both of them are It's just a tie. Water beds? Why would they change like that? Oh, they're meant to feel like real skin, like actually hitting a person. Good for knuckle development. Mutual combat, man. Yeah, just we have it in Texas. If anyone wants to step outside, I'm glad to initiate that. No problem. There's an officer here. Watch it. I've got a lot of Texas. You have to figure mine, man. I don't want to do the rest of that piece of shit right there. Not here, this one. That's a private room. Are you allowed in my private rooms? Yeah, it's the whole building. It covers the whole building. Not, not if it's a private room. So this is where I do my work, where I have my naps. This is my, this is my private room. Are you sure? Because it's against Fourth Amendment right violations again. That's why that door stays locked. This is a private room, not associated with my gym. Well, it is attached to the gym, and it's part of the address, so it's part of our Anything different from the first time you went in here? You gotta be fucking kidding me, dude. No, they're thorough. I'll tell you. I'll show you the reports they done on the police department. I'm telling you, they have knocked me up on inspection. I don't care. They were done with mine. This is harassment. Okay. I wish they were done with mine, but it's not I, I wish they knew what the fuck they were doing, knew how to read code. They wouldn't fucking be here. This motherfucker was here when they cited me on four point two two for that, which is ceiling fans, and this dickhead didn't do anything about it. All he did was trample on my fourth and rear ride. Tell me he can do whatever he wants. With ceiling fans. I'm not that hops over there, they coated it, didn't it? 4.22 ceiling fans. And I laughed at him. I went to court to this box over here. Oh, here. They quoted under ceiling fans. That's how fucking dumb your fire department is. 4.22 ceiling fans. That one. 4.22 ceiling fans. Send it to him, he didn't give a shit. You know what he did? Try to write me another code. Over fire burns. You know what that is? Not that, you fucking moron. Is that the open outlet? That is an open outlet. Guess what? External power only. No power in the wall. It's dead. No hazard. You can stick your fucking hand in here and grab it. It's been abandoned for 17 fucking years. When they passed inspection in 2019, John Gomez hooked that up, looked me right in the face, and I got it on camera, said there's no issue. Now these fuckers right here fucking with me even after I told them that. So we we had to talk about that. And go ahead and write a code. I'll pull any other code you throw at me, because it's not a violation. I'm not gonna cite a code. I'm just saying they're saying that that may be a violation of the electric code. It may not be. But it could be a violation under another code. That's what's silly I about know, bureaucracy. I know, sir. Lot. Yeah, listen. Yeah, there's so many they wrote up nine different, different ones for that. Each one I punked them on. Including that dumbass. Okay. Yeah, they leave gray areas I intentionally. For a living. Well, and I tried to explain to them why they were I've, wrong. I've heard and instead of apologizing, before. they harass me. What are they doing again? Harassing me. Violating Fourth Amendment rights? Yes. Now I've got members outside away from the left, and they can't because you're holding me up. They can come in and work out. I'm not sure you got guns in my fucking gym. You don't allow guns in your gym? I love guns everywhere. It's not pieces of shit that don't amend to the Fourth Amendment right. Sorry, Flamingo. They're not going to bother you. If they do, just let me know. What's up, brother? Yeah, hey, welcome, welcome uh, to Aransas. Yeah, when'd you come over here? Gonna, when'd you come over here? Uh, oh, okay, well, it's my brother's gym. Oh, really? Yeah, brother? yes, yeah, my brother. Oh, <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. Welcome. Did you get that on camera?
That's a bird. It's totally legal to an officer. You know that? Because you don't have breach of peace. Fucking pieces of shit. Do you want to know if the public service is going to be active in the courts on that one? Or not because they got slammed? No, it's not legal. It is not an emergency exit, so you can't use that. You're full of shit. That's not an emergency. It just says exit. That's an exit sign. Do you not know what an emergency exit is, you dumb fuck? I didn't think so. Wow. I hope he does write me more codes, and I hope I punk his ass again for being a fucking moron. Well, that's what I want to talk to you about. Can we send Yeah. Okay. That's what I want to talk to you about. Um, like I said, I told you on the phone. What I wanted to do when we come out here, get it all knocked out under the warrant. I need water. Hold on, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Can I follow you? I'm going to wait here. Yes, sir. Come on. Okay. Okay, I told you on the phone what I wanted to do is it's totally a fresh start what we can do. This is in your court. It's not a fresh start. I understand from your perspective. I do understand. Not a fresh start from anybody's perspective. Y'all fuck me over and over and over again. How is it a fresh start? Can, can I explain? Can you let me explain? I'm, I'm trying to be calm with you. And, and well, I'm, not, I'm not calm because you let him violate my family rights. I understand how you feel about that. <laughs> okay, but what I'm saying is... Let me give you an example. When I pull a motorist over for speeding, this is my rule. I can under, I relate to this easier. And I approach the car, and the guy comes off with me. <clears throat> Let's just use you. You're upset right now. Maybe I don't know your circumstances. He comes off with me like that. Does the guy get a ticket or does he get a warning? I don't give a shit. I understand. Typically, no relevance to what I'm yeah, doing right here. Let me explain. Let me get, get, follow along with it. Track with me. He's probably going to get a ticket because gaining compliance from that motorist is likely not to happen. In this situation, I know you're hot, and I can appreciate why you're hot, okay? I want to get it done and over with, so I can go. appreciate that if you let him violate Fourth Amendment rights again? When I say appreciate, I mean I can appreciate your frustration. Can you, though? Yes. Do you understand what the Constitution is? I do. Do you understand what these guys have been doing to me and nobody gives a shit? Okay. I understand from your perspective. Bullshit. The first inspection, 100% is Fourth Amendment right violations. Did you call me? You're, you're their supervisor. Did you call me and say, hey, I did wrong and apologize? Fuck no, you didn't. Okay. That's all I wanted from any of these motherfuckers in Aransas was an apology okay. because they did wrong. And apparently, and more people that talk to me, they do it to other people too that had to kick them off their property. Okay. You cannot go on somebody's property unless the owner says so or you have a fucking warrant. And your warrant is chicken shit talking about outside stuff, nothing about the see, inside of my gym. See, that is disputed on how they got on the property. That's why I don't want to discuss it because it's subject to conjecture. You know from your side. They know from their side, and I'm here getting both sides. I wasn't here, so I, why would I even? You didn't read any of the blanks. It doesn't matter. Oh, it does. You no, really? No, no. This is this is why it doesn't matter. Right now, I'm witnessing everything, okay? And I'm okay with what I'm witnessing. <laughs> I can You're okay with Fourth Amendment right by the way. No, no, this ain't a Fourth Amendment. You got a warrant in your hand that shows that it's. Yeah, for outside shit, brother. The warrant allows specifically two things: no, no, no. the outside and the outside. He's looking at my entire building. That's fucking harassment. You're letting me do it. The warrant allows us to come inside the For what, though? Search. For what? What are you it's looking for? It's stated in the warrant. Yeah, what are you looking for? That's my point. You've already walked through my building five We're times. We're doing an administrative inspection. We're not looking for evidence. I already did department. that five fucking times prior. Okay. It's harassment. You know it is. No, I, I don't feel that... If someone came to your house five times for the same fucking issue and walked through your house like this with police, you wouldn't think it was an issue? We're not talking You're a about fucking liar. You won't admit it because you're a piece of shit, too. Just follow up. I'm done, dude. I, but I want to explain to you what... Explain to you what? You're a piece of shit. You fucking lie. You're sitting here right now and they're harassing my building. You do shit about it. I do understand they're doing it. He knows because he's nodded at me a few times knowing that y'all are fucking up. Okay. And y'all made him come here. I told you what we can do from here is what I can do. What well, you can do, do from here. Can you listen a second? Let me explain. It better be something what? extreme like firing that motherfucker. Right. Then I'll listen. Was that a no? No. Right no. We'll, we'll write you a report. report. I'll give you the report. I already have your report. I have the first one that is complete. Can I finish? Can finish what? You're writing a whole new report? Yeah, there so we're getting two, we're getting two years from from this inspection. Yes. There's is that a continuation of the first inspection that was complete? This is a continuation for non-compliance, basically, is the way I understand it. What non-compliance? That, that was thrown out. But you're going to get an inspection. And then they came and harassed me because he was told to. There's two things that happen after this. I can give you a report with a reasonable time to correct any issues, or you get a report with a clean bill of health. Or bring the fucking issues on you motherfuckers. Or I'm not playing your fucking game. We're not fucking doing that. I don't take fucking handouts. If there's an issue, I fix them. If there's not an issue, I fuck off. That's what I want to know. 
if there's an issue, you can correct it, or if I feel like there's not going to be compliance, you don't want to work with me, we just issue citation. But when, I mean, the, the issue, the, he, he tried to correct the issue by going to the city council and explaining what was going on, and a week later, oh, he here we are. Yes. Here we are. I mean, does that, I mean, they're being, he knows it. Look, I'll pause my video, so. We have never completed this inspection. You have. Never completed yes, it. Yes, sir. He has. He's bullshit. Yeah. They completed it. Even, no. the, even the prosecutor the said staff, The staff that do, does inspection and reports to me has never been able to complete the inspection. Yes, they have. For violations. Because there was only one code left and it got thrown out. And we confirm that there are no violations of foot. It is with confirmed. No. As soon as I got thrown out of court, it got confirmed. For example. You're full you, of shit, dude. Miss Follow, when you get this report back, and we ask for compliance. The harassment report. Please put harassment on title. When you get this report back and we ask for compliance, there is going to be a compliance inspection. We've got to make sure that you put in the compliance. The first it's one was that. Public safety that the first one was that. There was two violations I fixed and that one. Okay. That one was thrown out because you guys are fucking idiots. It's done. Okay. Case closed. And he's You're still, harassing me. The fire chief has indicated he still sees some violations that are going to be addressed with you. Which has nothing to do with my yearly that you came on my property for. It doesn't have to. When you have to, it is. That's what you say. When you the terms of how he can get that administrative warrant, he just has to show that there's a history of violations, and he can come in under a warrant at any time. Or a history of throwing his ass under the bus in front of his bosses? The violation was thrown out. Yeah. The citation violation was thrown it out. It doesn't mean the violation did not exist or does not exist. It should have never existed, period, is the problem. And he's coming in like a fucking piece of shit to harass me over it. And you know it. You just won't admit it because you're a piece of shit, too. Okay. Well, we're done here, so I, I take it that you will accept the report and work on remediating me. I say you go hear from my lawyer, and all y'all get fucking fired, and all y'all get sued. How about that? Take your fucking unconstitutional, unhonorable oath and get the fuck out of my building. Doesn't believe in the Constitution. Doesn't believe in the Constitution. He was told not to believe in the Constitution. You, good job, brother. Appreciate it. The rest of y'all, hey, fuck man. off. I hope y'all get fired. We got the warrant drafted up, had a meeting, and then we heard by the chiefs that they were supposed to have some kind of council meeting. They were going to talk to, but the council wanted to meet about before we raided your gym and the following council meeting. <coughs> so we had to hold off. So there was a council meeting the day before this. Yes. So the day before my raid, there was an executive session. Right. And they talked about raiding my gym. That's what I was told. I wasn't there. By the chiefs. By the, the chiefs. chiefs told you this. Yeah. Chiefs higher ups. Interesting. So, um, so during the meeting, they told me to go drive uh, your area, uh, looking for code violations, anything that I could find. On my property? Uh, on, on yours. Okay. Um, How did you feel about that? That, to me, seems wrong. How do you it, feel about that? Targeting. <coughs> okay. Um, so when I actually went down the alleyway, there are other properties in violation that I've seen. Okay. Um, when I went down the alley, I did notice the you know the pallets uh, behind your building. I drove around the front in the street, seeing that you didn't have a Knox box, which was mentioned in the meeting. Look for Knox box violations if there's one Your or not. Your pre-meeting in order to come out. Right. Okay. Uh, I'm not, not licensed. I'm not licensed in the fire code. I'm not licensed in electrical. Okay. Um, I told Chief Blanchard that, and he said the fire code, electrical code, has been adopted by city ordinances. You enforce city codes, so you have the right to enforce that. Ram, Ram, Jason Padron, Kelly, and Borrego all signed government inspection forms that were falsified after the meeting. If anybody wants to look at them, I have them. I will gladly share them with everybody. Now that falls under Texas Penal Code 37.10, which is tampering with government records. You gonna do your job? I just listed several misdemeanors that people are doing, which is class A and class B. No, gonna go after a pallet? That's what I thought. Before I leave though, let's talk about the mayor here. Class B misdemeanor, yeah, nepotism. Yeah, yeah I'm talking to you. Class B misdemeanor is nepotism. Are you gonna arrest him? Because it's in your code book and it's against the law. And you know it is, and he knows it is, and he's been doing it forever. You still got John Gomez working for you? Nepotism, class B misdemeanor. You wanna pick up a pallet or you wanna do your job? Before I go, Miss Carey, how about you tell Jason Knight that he's a piece of shit and all she wants is him to go, him to go, and her to go. If you didn't allow us in to inspect the building, we would have to force our way into the building. Okay, so the then why do you need a key for an emergency, but for a non-emergency, you can force the door in? Excellent question. I support you on that. Little data on these knot boxes in town. I was the first establishment in Aransas past Texas to try to force this on. And of course I said, no, 
You cannot have a key to my building. I have the right to secure my building. Not going to happen. With that said, Chief Kelly has a business in town. No knock box. Mayor has a building in town. No knock box. I am the only business that they harassed over this simply because they wanted to get inside my building. These violations, be it at your location or any other business in town, no matter what the court decides, these are still violations. They're this dumbass here really just said, even if the court decides they're not violations, they're still violations.